Let's study fast English to improve our listening comprehension. Today, we're going to study a conversation I had with my friend, and we're going to see lots of interesting things, like how Americans link words together when one word ends in a sound and the next word begins in the same sound. We're going to look at different T pronunciations like stop T's, true T's, and when a T is totally dropped. Oh, and also, of course, the flap T, all four kinds of T's. In this sentence here, we're going to really hear the difference between flat pitch and the pitch that changes in a stressed syllable. We're going to study a couple different reductions of the word to and of the word should and can. We'll look at different ways that Americans link words together in a phrase for really smooth English. This will help you with your listening comprehension. Why do all these words slide together in American English anyway? Stick with me, this is going to be a great lesson. First, here's the short scene that we'll study. So when we got 10 there, we're trying to get 24 total. No, you're right, this sucks, dude. It's just, I think it's, I mean, it's a goopy dough. Yeah, it's hard to handle, it's annoying. Can I, so I should do another layer of... Mm-hmm. Parchment. Should we put it, ball it up and put it in the freezer for like... I think we should. Now let's go through the conversation with a full in-depth analysis. So when we got 10 there, we're trying to get 24 total. Sort of a long thought group there. Let's go ahead and write out 24 so we can talk about the pronunciation a little bit more easily. So when we got 10 there, we're trying to get 24 total. So when we got 10 there, we're trying to get 24 total. So when we got 10 there, we're trying to get 24 total. So we got 10 there. So wait, wait, pretty unclear. 10 there. To me, those are the two most stressed words. 10. So what we got 10 there. So what we got 10 there. So what we got 10 there. I'm Rachel, and I've been teaching the American accent on YouTube for over 15 years. Go to rachelsenglish.com slash free to get my free course, The Top Three Ways to Master the American Accent. 10 there. Definitely a clear true T there on 10. T -t -t. So you need that crisp escape. We don't want th, th but t. 10 there. 10 there. 10 there. 10 there. Both of these words have more length. 10 there. 10 there, 10 there, 10 there. We're trying to get 24 total. What about the rest of the sentence? A little bit less clear. So what we got, so what we got, so what we got. So what we got, so what we got. We can think of this as a true T, sorry, as a stop T in got, got 10 but then it links right into a true T. So you might just want to think of it as a single T sound. Got 10, got 10, but give me that little lift there to separate it. Got 10. We got 10, we got 10, so what we got 10. So what we got, so what we got. Okay, what is happening? First of all, I notice we have is grammatically correct, but there's no V sound there. It's been totally dropped. We got. We got. That's pretty common. So it's just W consonant E vowel linking right into the G consonant. We got. We got. So what we got. So what we got. So what we got. So what. So what. To me, so wait is that. So what. So what. So what. So what we got. We can think of this as being a stop T. I certainly don't hear a true T release. So what. And you know, I might even just put schwa's for both of those. So what? So it not very clear at all. So it, so it, so it, so it. These are very flat. So it, we got, and then we've got. That's also flat. This is flat lower. This is flat higher. Then we've got 10 there. A little bit more of that up down shape of stress. So really, 
lean into that when you're working with this audio. So what we got, so what we got, so what we got. You're gonna have to simplify a lot to get your syllables in that quickly, which is what we want. So what we got, so what we got, so what we got 10 there. We're trying to get 24 total. 10 there, we're trying to get 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 We're trying to get, so try, this is a stressed syllable, but rather than going up down, the stress is going down up. We're trying to get We're trying to get We're trying to get We're trying to get We are we're, or the contraction said really quickly, or, 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 flat, low, unclear, quiet. The TR cluster does become CHR. Chur, 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 chur. Trying? We're trying? We're trying? We're trying? We're trying, We're trying to get? Trying to get. Trying. So the ing ending changes. And it's just an N sound, not an NG sound at the end. Tryin. And then we drop the T in two, and it's just the schwa. Why is that? Dropping T after N is something that we do sometimes. And so here the T comes after the N because we're not doing the NG sound. And trying to becomes trina, trina. Trine. This is a pretty common reduction in casual spoken English. Trina. Trina. Trying to get. Trying to get. Trying to get. Trying to get 24. Trying to get 24. So the word get. 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 I think I pronounce that with more of an I vowel instead of E. Eh. A little bit of a reduction there. Get. 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 And that's a stop T for sure. No release trying to get 24, then I have more stressed words. So we are, were, to, uh, get, get. All of these words shortened, reduced, smoothly linked into the line. We're trying to get, we're trying to get, we're trying to get 24 total. 24 total. So we start with one peak of stress on twe. 20. We have another peak of stress on four. Four. It's less high though. 20 was higher. 24 total. And then another peak of stress, again, less high on total. Ah, uh, 24 total. Let's look at our T pronunciations. True T in 20, dropped T in 20. Look, it comes after N. It's exactly what happened here. We dropped the T after an N. 20. 20 is definitely the most common pronunciation of that word. 24 total. So when a T starts a stressed syllable, when it's not part of a TR cluster, it is a true T. We're getting that here and here. We got it in 10. T -t total. So the first T there is a true T. The second T is a flap T. The tongue just bounces against the roof of the mouth. Total. Total. After the tip bounces up, the tongue tip comes down, and this is a dark L made with the back of the tongue. Total. Total. 24 total. 24 total. 24 total. Now you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. One stress word there, and it's right. Everything else leads up to it. No, you're right. Change in direction of the melody. Stop T. The word no, not a very clear O diphthong there. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, no. I would write that with a schwa. No, no. No, you're, no, you're. 
I can say that without moving my lips at all. You are. Your reduces becomes your. No, you're. No, you're. No, you're. No, you're. No, you're right. No, you're right. Your and right linking with a single R sound. So smooth. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. When you agree with somebody. No, you're right. I had said something. She commented back. I agreed with her. No, you're right. 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 This sucks, dude. This sucks, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm frustrated with this cookie dough. This sucks. So the word sucks is stressed. This is not. It just comes as the energy builds into the sucks. This sucks, dude. Hit all links together, dude. And then down up, also stressed. These two words link together with a single S. So when you have a word that ends in one sound and begins in the same sound, the next word, you're gonna link with one sound. We've done it here. We've done it here. We've done it here. This sucks. This sucks linked together. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks, dude. It's just, I think it's, I mean, it's a goopy dough. Okay, so she has a lot of little starts before she gets out her sentence. But let's look at them. They're interesting from a pronunciation standpoint. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, this is a really common thing to say. We, we add just a lot. It's just, it's just, and it's never pronounced just. It's always unstressed, said so quickly. It's just, just, it's, 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 it's just. So I would write that. I mean, I almost feel it with no vowel at all. Just, just, but I'm going to write it with a schwa. The J sound, which we write in IPA with this symbol. J, J. I'm going to write the schwa and the S because it's so common to drop that T. We don't drop it if it links into a vowel, but here it doesn't. She's starting a new thought, so it doesn't link. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, I think it's, it's just, I think it's, I think it's, so one stressed word there, it's think, it's our verb. I think it's, again, not it's just, or I think it's, but it's, 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 it's. Said very quickly, the vowel so fast, no jaw drop really. It's, 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 it's. The K in think links into the I of its to make that utterance very smooth. I think it's, 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 I think it's. The K is not very strong. I think it's, we're not getting k a lot of contact there. I think it's, I think it's. I think it's, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, if you listen to just those four words, you can really hear how there's no pitch change. I mean, it's a, and that's what we usually have on our unstressed syllables. They're super flat or they're going in one direction up or one direction down. And to me, these sound so flat. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, it almost sounds like a song. I mean, it's a, so they're unstressed. Everything links together very smoothly. Then we have longer syllables with change in pitch. And that's how we know, oh, this is our anchor. This is the stress. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a goopy dough. Goopy dough. Goopy, we've got pitch changing there. Goopy dough, and then pitch changing there. Goopy, double O making the oo vowel, means kind of sticky, a little bit wet. Goopy, goopy dough. Really different than, I mean, it's a, those words that are said so quickly and flatly. I mean, it's a, Goopy dough. Goopy dough. 
Goopy dough. The word dough pronounced D consonant, O diphthong, that's it. There's no G sound, there's no H sound. Make sure you round your lips for that diphthong. Dough. 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 Yeah. 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 Now that's sort of quiet, said pretty quickly, but it's not flat. Yeah. Yeah. We still have an up down shape of stress, so that is a stressed syllable. Yeah. 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 It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. Two stressed syllables there, two up down waves. It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. It's hard. It's hard. A couple things. First, ha. Make sure you give me a vowel with some jaw drop there before your R. Ha. Ah. The ahs and father. Hard. Now, we've seen a couple of cases here where the T gets funky and Here's another place where it gets a little bit strange. We have the word to. Now we know this is a common reduction. The word before ends in D. We did this with trina, where the word before ended in N. We saw that the T dropped. Here it happens as well, hard. It's like the D, the T turns into a single D and they link with a D, hard. Hard, not hard to. That could be how I pronounce it, but I'm reducing and linking even more here. It's hard to. It's hard to handle. Hard to. It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. Handle. My voice is getting a little whiny, isn't it? Han. What's the vowel there? Ah. It's the a ah as in bat followed by n in the same syllable, which makes it not pure. Ah, no way. It's eh. So your tongue starts a little bit lifted and arched in the back. Eh. And then it relaxes down. Handle. 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 Then we have a D and another dark L. Tongue tip down for that. Sound made at the back of the mouth. Handle. 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 It's annoying. It's annoying. The word it's barely heard. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's, let's, that's. These are all words that can reduce to just a quick light TS sound. It's annoying. So it's becomes, it's annoying linking into the vowel of the next word. It's annoying. We have one peak of stress there. It's on the stress syllable. Oy. It's annoying. So we sort of have a Y sound because it's an I as the second half of the oi diphthong. And then an I for the ing ending. Annoying. So that Y sound might help you link all of those vowels together. Annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. Can I, so I should do another layer of. Can I, so again doesn't start a full sentence right away, has a couple false starts, can I, but we can still see the reductions that we do, can, so often just becomes can, can, and links into the next word. In this case, it's I, and that N links really smoothly into the I diphthong. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, try that, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, so, can I, so, so, so another kind of filler word, just like just is so, and it becomes so, or so said quickly and it's flat. So, so, 
So I should do another layer of... I should do another layer of... I should do another... So we have up, down, shape of stress on I. I should do another little bit on the middle syllable, another, uh, that's the us and butter vowel, another layer of. I should do another layer of. I should do another layer of. I should do another layer of. Let's look at should and do. I should do. I should do. I should do. Should do. Should do. Should do. Linking together with the single D sound, should do, should do. And really, we can just think of this as being SH and schwa, sh, sh, should do, should do, should do. I should do, should do, should do, should do another. I should do another. Very linked together and smooth. I should do another, I should do another, I should do another layer of another layer of the r linking right into the hmm do i want to say uh as in butter layer of it's either uh or schwa kind of depends on how stressed it feels another layer of another layer of another layer of, another layer of. Actually, now that I think about it, it's not super smoothly connected, layer of, but it's layer of, layer of, almost a little lift there. And I am gonna say that feels like an uh vowel to me. She can't think of the word. So she does a hand gesture instead. Do you ever do that? What she's thinking of is parchment paper. Another layer of, another layer of, another layer of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very, very common response means yes. Mm-hmm. Up, down, shape of stress, mm-hmm. I'm even nodding my head, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Parchment, parchment. And then it's got that questioning intonation the word is parchment, first syllable stress. As a statement, we would think of, think of it as going up and down. But I'm confirming that this is what she meant to say. I'm asking, I'm offering that word, parchment. So it has the opposite intonation, parchment. Just like previously when we were studying ah plus r, Make sure you do give a good ah uh, as in father vowel before that consonant. R, par, parchment. 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 Mint, mint, mint. That's going to be a schwa at the end. Mint. So say it really quickly. You can think of it as being an i as in sit, if that helps you make it faster. Parchment. Parchment. Do you hear that abrupt stop? Stop T. Parchment. 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 Should we put it? Should we put it? I love this so much. Another should reduction. So in the first example, it was should. What was the next word? It ended with a D. It was should do. Should do. And now we've got should we, but still the D is dropped should reduction, should becoming just sh with the schwa linking into the next consonant sound in this case, w. Should we, should we, should we, should we? Should we put it, should we put it, should we put it? Should we put it, should we put it? Notice that stop T there, put it, put it, put it, not put it, t, but also not put it. That abrupt stop for the stop T. Put it, put it, up, down, shape of stress. Put it, linking with the flap. Put it, here the letter U is the vowel uh, like in push. Put, put it, like in cook. Uh, put it. Should we put it? 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 Ball it up and... 
So she's talking about the leftover dough or dough scraps, and she uses a phrasal verb to ball up. Ball it up and ball it up and ball it up and. This is when you take something that's not a ball shape, like say a piece of paper, and you rumple it up into a ball shape. Ball it up. Ball it up and ball it up and ball it up and put it in the freezer. Here she's talking about our lumpy mass of dough. Should we ball it up and put it in the freezer so that it can get harder? Ball it up and put it in the freezer. Ball it up and put it in the freezer. Ball it up and put it in the freezer. Ball it up and ball it up and in a phrasal verb, it's common for both to have to have an up down shape of stress. But if not, then definitely one of them. Here they both have that up down shape. Ball it up and the word and is reducing to just and 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 it links into the P. Ball it up and it up it up. That T links the two words together. That's a flap T. A T is a flap T when it comes between two vowel or diphthong sounds and links words together. It up. It up. Ball it up. Ball it up. Ball it up. Ball it up. This L is a dark L because it's at the end of the vowel in a syllable. It's after the vowel or diphthong. But when a dark L links into another vowel, ball, you can still lift your tongue tip there. That helps differentiate the syllable. But practice that. You don't want a lot of tongue contact. You still want that to be light. Ball it, ball it, ball it, ball it, ball it up and ball it up and uh. Ball it up and ball it up and ball it up and put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Put it in the up down shape of stress on our verb. Put it in the, then the rest of the words just fall into that line on the way down. Put it in the freezer. Then we have another stress word, our noun. Here the pitch direction is down up. Freezer. Put it in the freezer. Uh. Put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Lots of smoothness and linking here. We have two flap T's in a row. Put it in. And they're linking vowel to vowel, linking words together. Put it in the, put it in the, put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer for like, for like, for like. So the freezer, she has a little lift here while she thinks about, well, for how long? How long should we do that? For like, for like. Okay, the word for reduces for said very quickly. Like another filler word, it can also mean about or approximately. So she's about to give a time, like approximately five minutes. So the word like here does have meaning but it, I would say it can also be considered a filler word and it's not said very clearly. For like, for like, for like. I think we should. She doesn't even know her time yet and I already agree with her. I think we should. So definitely stressing myself, I'm in agreement with her opinion. I, up down shape of stress, I think we should. Linking together smoothly linking together smoothly, think and we less stress than I and should. I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. Should. The vowel in should is just like the vowel in put, push, cookie. It's this vowel. And of course the L is silent. I'm not reducing it here. It's at the end of a sentence, at the end of a thought. We don't really reduce words at the end of a thought group. I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. 
I think we should. Let's listen to this whole conversation one more time. So if we got 10 there, we're trying to get 24 total. Now you're right, this sucks, dude. It's just, I think it's, I mean, it's a goopy dough. Yeah, it's hard to handle, it. it's annoying. Can I, so I should do another layer of? Mm-hmm. Parchment. Should we put it, ball it up and put it in the freezer for like? I think we should. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I absolutely love teaching about the stress and music of spoken American English. Keep your learning going now with this video and don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. I absolutely love being your English teacher. That's it and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.